Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations for IPC, and I have IPC's latest technical question online. This question came from one of IPC members in China related to IPC printed board specifications. And looking to the reference, the question was related to uh, the terms critical contact area, pristine area, and while we're talking about that, I'm going to discuss witness marks a little bit. And the questioner was asking about what's the difference? Why is there a difference in the specifications talking about critical contact area versus pristine area, and, and how does IPC differentiate? So I looked in the standard. Uh, the latest revision is not 600G, it's 600H. So I will fix that now. At 600H, the paragraph references uh, are 2.71 and 2.7.1.1. In the 2.7.1, this graph talks about the critical contact area and 2711 illustration has the pristine area. Now, essentially, the intent of both critical contact area and pristine area are the same. The committees have main, met the meaning this, the same intent, which really is, the intent is that the center or most critical portion of your uh, connection is free of defects. And so what they want is, in this area, you want your connector finger, you want that area to be very, uh, uh, very uh, untouched, undamaged, and because that's you're going to depend on that for your connection. And this now, a 2711 is a bonding pad. You're going to bond a wire here, and so you want this center area, this to be pristine or undamaged. So my response to the individual with the comment was, the there really isn't a lot of difference between critical contact area and pristine area, except one is on a connector and one is on a bonding pad. The intent, the committee intent, keep the center portion without major damage. They do also bring the idea of witness marks, recognizing that most printed circuit board, uh, most printed circuit boards undergo flying probe or electrical testing, and there is a possibility of doing really minor uh, damage or uh, leaving small marks from the, the probe points on the lands. These are called witness marks uh, or evidence that electrical test has been done and these are deemed as okay. This is also reflected, it continues on as reflected in the IPC 6012 which takes the same idea as pristine area and talks about other, sur other features, surface features. So in 6012, IPC's rigid board spec, uh, 35421 talks about SMT lands. Again, you see the pristine area, and they talk a little bit more in detail as far as what type of defects, whether you can have uh, small pinholes, whether you can have uh, some, some edge damage. Again, uh, the pristine area needs to be untouched. They are allowed witness marks from electrical test. And again, 35422 on BGA lands, same idea, center area, uh, has to be untouched. A witness mark is allowed to show that electrical test has been done, but you want this area to be your primary area of connection to be undamaged. That's our latest technical question online. If you'd like us to answer your question, please send it to answers at ipc.org.